Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to see hemorrhesis. Hemorrhesis within the blood sample is seen within plasma. In these two tubes, you can see there is the down part and the top part. The top part is the one which is plasma. That is why you can see if there is hemorrhesis or not. And we are going to see what hemorrhesis is and what are the normal colors of good plasma. Then we will see the experiment of hemorrhesis. Hemorrhesis. You wonder what is hemorrhesis? It is a rupturing of red blood cells and releasing their contents into the surrounding fluids. Those fluids are like plasma and water when it is done in vitro. The normal plasma actually looks like brown, very yellow, dark yellow, and sometimes orange and green tea. You see, we have two tubes here. The first one, you see, the down part is very dense. That is concentrated lead blood cells. And the upper part is brownish that is plasma even on the other in the other tube the down part is concentrated dead blood cells the upper part is plasma this is how the normal blood looks like the next step is to add some water to see how it's going to look like and we'll be checking the hemolysis Good. Here we have an empty tube. We are going to add a sample of blood with anticoagulants so that blood will not coagulate. And then we'll add some water and check to see if the red blood cells are going to be mixed with blood and to see what will happen. Good. Now let's draw some water and then add them into, I mean add it into the sample of red blood cells. Good. And then we we'll check. And we are expecting to see a translucent lead color. You know, red blood cells fish, it has been dense. The color has been dense. And now it's going to be translucent. It's going like to be more transparent. Good. You see, it has already started. It has started working already. You see, the upper part is not dense as the down part. So we are going to check to see if the color is going to change. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's check. We are checking now. The down part and the upper parts are now mixed, you see. This means already water has entered into red blood cells already. Red blood cells are water soluble. Let's add more water. Good. We are adding more water. Mm -hmm. After adding more water again, we're gonna mix again or shake. And it has already started working. This is the indicator that if water is added into red blood cells, the red blood cells are going to be destroyed. The same as when you shake blood, the Red blood cells or erythrocytes, I mean electrocytes, are going to be mixed with the plasma and then a hemolysis will occur. We are checking again. Good, we are still checking. Good. 
Now, you see how it is looking like it has become more translucent. This is an indicator that the red blood cells got much water and then they are busted or they are ruptured. Good. This is what we call hemolysis. Then at the end, we are going to compare this blood that, under, that has undergone hemolysis with normal blood to see if there is any comparison. Good. You see, this small tube has normal blood. The upper part is plasma, the lower part is concentrated red blood cells. And this big tube, you see, the color has become translucent. See clearly, this upper part is plasma, is brownish color, the lower part is concentrated red blood cells. Why this big tube is blood that has undergone hemorrhoses. I mean hemorrhoses. You see. And this is hemolysis. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it is very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you, Abaka.